thing that I have to pick my dump. Not see. Where are you from? Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah. Look, Andrea, when I saw you in this movie, I thought, my goodness, isn't this wonderful to see her again? Well, oh, thank you. How long has it been since we've seen you on the big screen? 20 years. Really? Mm hmm And all this time, uh, was it your choice not to, to work, or uh, did you, was it somebody else saying uh, no? No. Um, I have been asked that question, and my answer was that they don't write good parts for ladies my age, and that, and that includes many years ago, <laughs> from, from age 50 to, you know, to, I mean, it, it's just that they don't, they don't write them, and now they have, and so, I mean, I hope they write more. Of course, the, the wonderful thing okay. is... Well, Jan and I, okay. wait, wait for a count of 10 here so I can make sure we have speed. Just tell me when. This is such a fun party, isn't it, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> so glad we got together. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> well, Jenger, I'm sure that people are going to look at you up there on the screen and remember having seen you, and they see you on the Late Show from time to mm -hmm. time, and they're going to say, well, why in the world hasn't she been working all this is time? Is she still alive? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm still alive. But why haven't you been working? Well, I, I think it's because I have said, and I think it's true, that they just don't write parts. Maybe they'll be doing it now for ladies my age, um, good ones anyway, and um, either they're good or, you know, there's just no, no use doing them. So now, how did you actually then come into this project? Did Taylor remember that you were associated with yes, the first one? Yes, yes. And uh, he, uh, having run out of the past probably a hundred times to write the script, he remembered me very, very well, and, and he wrote the part for me. And uh, I was so delighted, I didn't know about it until two and a half years later after I had met him, that he was indeed writing the part, writing a part for me. And so when he sent me the script and with a letter saying, here's the part I've written for you, I don't want anyone else, I want you, I was just so thrilled. Isn't that mm -hmm. lovely? It's so wonderful to work with. Was there a mother in the original? No. No. The original, um, she was very mysterious. There was nothing you knew about her at all. She had no family, no ties at all. Now, when you see Rachel Ward in the part that you played originally, mm -hmm. is it like you're looking at a little bit of your past, or is it totally different? It's different because uh, she's my daughter, and I look at her as my daughter, and I don't know the other things that are going on in the picture, so therefore I see her only as my daughter. Um, and I want to try to manipulate her and try to control her, which I'm unable to do. Uh, no one's able to control her. and. Uh, so therefore, I don't, it, there's no deja vu uh, uh, about that at all, you know. In any other way, uh, or uh, let me rephrase that, in what other ways then is this film different from the original? This film maintains the triangle love story. One man obsessed with a woman who injures him and leaves him, who hires another to find her and bring her back to him. That man then falls in love with her, she with him, and they try to escape everyone, her mother, the other man, and so forth, and it's impossible to do. And uh, that remains the same triangle that was in Out of the Past, but everything else about the picture, all the perimeter characters, all the story, is completely different. So, in, in fact, it's based on, but it's, it's not a remake. Of course, the original, you worked with Robert Mitchum yes. and Kirk Douglas. Mm -hmm. And um, what was it like working with Mitchum at that time? Because now everybody really has a tremendous amount of respect for him as an actor. Oh, well, I had respect for him then as an actor. He's a wonderful actor. And uh, then he was as fine an actor as he is now. He had 
uh, no one has ever caught Bob acting, you know, no one's ever been able to catch him at that. Uh, someone recently worked with him and they said that they had looked at his script as they were rehearsing the scene and they saw the initials N-A-R and then they turned another page, N-A-R, and they said to him, after a while, what's those initials, N-A-R, on your new script? And he said, no acting required. So one day they were working, and they were going over a scene, and they saw a page blank. And they said, ha-ha, today acting is required. So they looked very carefully, but they still couldn't catch him at it. <laughs> but he's just, he just is. I mean, how he does it, I don't know, but he's a wonderful, brilliant actor. He's done some wonderful performances. And uh, Night of a Hunter, Heaven Knows, Mr. Allison, such wonderful performances. And just being Bob, I don't know how he does it by osmosis, but he just has it. And I think Jeff Bridges is wonderful in this picture. And I think he's, he's grown and matured so that he's going to be a big star, really big star. It's true that he was in the original? No, not this picture. No. He wasn't in Out of the Past. He worked with me when he was four months old. <laughs> I didn't remember it, nor did he, but his family had reminded him of it, and then he reminded me. He was a baby in a, a, a railroad station. His mother had him on her lap. I was an escaping parolee, and the police were coming to get me. I see the police, and I realize they're going to catch me. If they see this lone woman up, you know, they're going to question her. So I grab the baby from the mother and say, let me quiet him. He was meant to be screaming, but of course Jeff wouldn't scream. He was such a good baby. And I held him and buried my face until the police went by and we worked together. Oh. Of course, he didn't remember it, nor did I. And, and what was that picture? Um, the company she keeps. With Elizabeth Scott played my parole officer. Altogether, uh, about how many films did you make? Hmm, about 30, I guess. Close to it. And was it a satisfying career for you? Oh, yes. yes. You enjoyed mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now you look forward to doing another part, Jane? I do. I really do. I had such fun doing this that uh, I really enjoyed myself. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you more on the screen, whether it be the big screen or the little screen, because good. there's a lot of little screen work going on <laughs> these days for women of all ages. Yes, yeah, good. <laughs> Jane, it's been great fun talking Very with you. Nice and thank you. you so much. Thank you. Both. Good luck to you. Thank you. That was just charming. It really was. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kuhl, I'm rolling. Wait and are you, are you cutting me at about like this? A little uh, something about like this. Yeah. Okay. Where do you want to look? Um, is it too bad if I look right about there? Rolling tape. Alright. So Jane, why have you waited 20 years to come? Oh. So, Jane, why have you waited 20 years to come back to movies? You were in the original, of course, uh, playing the leading woman. In the original, was there a mother's role? When you look at Rachel Ward playing the leading woman now, is it a part of your past, or how do you look at it? You're leading men. In the original, you played opposite Robert Mitchum and Kirk Douglas. What was it like working with Mitchum? How are the two movies different as far as story is concerned? Did Taylor Hackford remember you were in the first one, and is that why you're in this one? Um, that should do it. Now let me just give some reactions.
Oh, let me re-ask that question, okay. Didn't, are you still, okay. Didn't you have, didn't you work with Jeff Bridges once before? And what was that movie? That should do it. <laughs> 